Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So Noah came out with her updated predictions for the season. We talk about this a lot as we go through the season. Uh, now we've been talking about the, the strong wind shear, those cooler waters, and uh, some of the drier air across much of the Atlantic. Also, it looks like we're heading towards El Nino as we head towards the fall. So what they've done is they've come out and they've updated the numbers. And as expected, they've lowered the numbers for the season between 9 to 13 named storms, 4 to 7 of those becoming hurricanes, and 0 to 2 major hurricanes. Now, despite what any of these numbers say, we say this all the time, it doesn't matter if we've got two hurricanes or six hurricanes or 12 hurricanes, it only takes one storm. And if it affects you, it ends up being a bad season. So we prepare each season the same. Now we're just now heading towards the real meat of the season as we head through August, heading towards September. That's where we're heading right towards the peak of the hurricane season. So this is the time of the year you expect to see more activity. Peak of the season being September 10th. So really over the next couple of months, this is where we're gonna see more of the activity in the hurricane season so we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out now we are starting to look further out into the atlantic as well you can see this a uh, number of these tropical waves working their way on towards the west now through the overnight hours been watching out here this one tropical wave uh, is showing a nice flare-up of some convection but you can see really right now not looking all that impressive it's going to continue to work its way on towards the west now once it gets over in this area getting towards the lesser antilles uh, that's where the wind shear is going to start to increase over this system. So at least over the next couple of days, conditions are somewhat favorable with this. Now the uh, European model really doesn't pick up on this very, very much. It does show a very uh, weak tropical wave working its way across the Atlantic. So we got to see, can this one actually develop and do something or will it just continue to work its way as a very disorganized tropical wave eventually moving into that stronger wind shear as we get into next week so we'll continue to watch that one area as we go through the next several days right now probably putting about a 20 percent chance of some development over the next five days we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com